I could get a wet traditional costume all the time. Other than that, we have the foot pounding at the back when they will teach you how to pop out leaves and petals in fruits. Most of the time, I just need a hoop. Sway, sway, the first one. Sway, sway. Okay, that sounds. Sway, sway. She was like, no, 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 that's not sound. <laughs> it's very subtle. Sweat. 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 Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm all laughing. Okay, then the second time. Have I not given her the good energy? Hello, hi, bye to you. Let's go. Hey, hey. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Kevin and Kenneth.
as you guys. Should I just like sit here and like, hi! <laughs> to be very close with you guys. Hello, good afternoon, good morning. High five. High five in the morning gives you good vibes, that's right. <laughs> Alex, Alex, I love it. A N N E X. 
Okay, Annex, my question for you is, have you visited the Thai supermarket in the previous location? Did not go before. Okay, it's okay. Make a guess. Where was the Thai supermarket located before this? Is it Marina Bay Sands? Ah, that's okay. Or is it Golden Mall Complex? Marina Bay Sands? <laughs> What's the answer again? Golden Mall Complex. Is it Golden Mall Complex, everybody? Is it? And you're correct. Congratulations, and next high five. Okay, see, I'm giving him a little. What's this? The maximum spicy one. Okay, start your day with a spice. All right. Thank you so much, and next. Okay. So, of course, Thai supermarket was founded by Mr. Lo Yuan Sung. Is he here today? Where's Mr. Lo? Oh, he's not here yet. He's very, very busy today. But as we all know, they have a very wholesome story for Thai supermarket because it started out as a tailoring business for Thai construction workers and thereafter they mingle with the Thai community and they ended up having a Thai supermarket at the Golden Mount Complex to serve all our Thai community, okay? So, please do go in and check out the supermarket. They have 8,000 over products, okay? What's your favorite thing you like to buy at a Thai supermarket? What's that? Lim chiu ah? Tam po chiu si Beer, is it beer? What do you like to buy at a supermarket? Banana. Buy kim chiu ah? Banana, okay, got banana. The banana here is very good, right? Small, small, but juicy, juicy. Yeah, and then we have the chiu. Then I got a Thai, Thai, Thai beer. Thai beer, right? Thai beer. We have all the alcohol, the rum there. Okay, you can check it out. Okay, what else do we buy at the Thai supermarket? Anybody buy the... You know the one that they put in the nose one? The smell? Very nice smell. Is it poster? I think so. Did anybody use the poster? Like the green color one? Nobody used. Oh, the face like some like that. You know, you know. Uh, what's that called? What's that called? Thai Siang. Thai Siang. You use it. You have it in your pocket now? Wow, show me, show me. Wow. Show now. This one. Wow. Oh, oh, you stick it out in your personalized container. So, what is your name? David. David, David, are you a, like a regular for a Thai supermarket? Yes. Since uh, 1980? Yes. Oh my gosh, high five, we need to. Yes, you don't want to high five me. Supermarket <laughs> in Bangkok. Oh, no. Big C and Tesco Lotus. Wow, you know your stuff, eh, David. Are you working here? Work here? Do you want to work here? <laughs> It looks like he is very he is ready to work at Thai supermarket. Thank you so much. Alright, keep your lovely energy coming because I would love to know each and one of you today. Alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event today? Yes! Everybody, are you ready for the main event today? Yeah! Hello everybody! Once again, if you hear my voice, we're at Imperial Mall. Today it's the Songkran Festival organized by Thai Supermarket in partnership with Thai Trade Center and Tourism Authority of Thailand. And Songkran Festival is informally known as the Water Festival in Thailand. And today we have a splash of Thailand's beautiful culture in four different colors from the north, from the north, from the south, from northeast and from central. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special guest of all I would love to garner your big energy as we welcome our special guests who make today's event possible. They are the ones bringing their efforts to make sure the community come back together. So can we give a round of applause as we welcome Ambassador of Thailand of Singapore, Her Excellency Purira Charento, and Director of Thai Tree Center Singapore, Director Natama Kutporn. Yeah! Director of Tourism Authority of Thailand Singapore Office, Director Kun Pamut Wanahe. Directors, Mr. Lo Yuan Sheng and Mr. Lo Yuan Hey! Thank you so much for gracing the event in beautiful colors. You guys really make a pop in this whole space. All right, and I'm also reminded of this profound cultural exchange in this space, where all of us from different countries come together to enjoy Thai's beautiful culture. Okay, so let's enjoy each other's company and bring the spirit of diversity today. So, what better way to celebrate today's event by having a dance on the stage? Are you guys ready for some action? Yes? Are you guys ready for some action? Yes! Come on! So, opening a dance with some celebratory mode, this performance will illustrate the song
Songkran Festival, where people return home to celebrate by playing and splashing water together as an occasion that brings people together regardless of their location. So let's give it up for the Thai Dance Society,
than the body lah. Okay, so please feel free to clap along and join us if you love the music. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, can we once again invite Her Excellency Torento, Director Kun Poi, Director Wan Alun, and Mr. Lo Yen Sheng and Mr. Lo Yen Heng to come on up on stage to join us for a photo taking ceremony. Thank you. At this point of time, our performers will be presenting the flower garlands known as the Pong Malai to our VIPs. So these flower garlands, they are actually a symbolism of respect to our beloved figures in our lives. And the flowers are actually made up of three different flowers. We have the jasmine, the white champaka, and the roses. Look at this, so beautifully made and given to each of them. Now, by presenting these fragrant garlands, we want to pay homage to their wisdom, guidance, and unwavering support, enriching the fabric of our cultural heritage with each heartfelt gesture. So thank you so much for being here and supporting the Thai community. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, with the bestowed fragrant garlands, we would like to take a photo. Maybe the performers join us as well. Right, can we have the performers at the front? Thank you so much. We're going to take a photo together. Right in front. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> More colors on the stage. More colors the better, right? Okay. Come on, Adam. Yes. Beautiful. Wow. Hey, thank you so much. Come on again. All right. Can we have a photo? Ready? One, two. One, two, three. So <laughs> Nice. Okay. Can we also invite a team time? Please be careful, join us here. Yes. Is this something that you guys normally say when you take photo? Like we will say cheese. Do you guys say something or so? Maybe say songkran together? Songkran, okay. With a big smile. Because the kran will make the, the, the mouth open. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh, not yet. We have one more. Alright, with big smiles, everybody. Ready? And one. Let's say songkran together, okay? One.
a lot more like sweeter, sweeter and juicier. I can see that in the whole I can feel like I'm squashing the whole pound of water just now. Can I try? I should try. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let me see how fresh is this fresh. The first time I already came the food already. A bit sour. I love a little bit of sour and a little bit of sweet. It's actually a good blend. And so, how, how many orange do you have? Like one, one bottle. Like that. Yeah, seven or eight orange. Wow, I think my vitamin is fully utilized in this one bottle. What is your name, gentlemen? Aniki, Aniki, and you, William.
thank you so much. Wow, because you know what, our feeling is kicked inside, and then we watch that, they were like, oh, can I, can I shout? Yes, you can shout, you can cheer, you can dance, you can have fun, okay? So, this is the last traditional dance performance we have today, but tomorrow we have three more, where you guys can go crazy, come in colorful costumes, okay? Like something that I wear today, and then bring your friends and family. But, after this, we are going to have a Muay Thai demonstration. Yes, anybody in uh, trained martial arts here? Any martial arts? Thai dessert that is uh, only done in the royal, for the royal families, right? But, uh, <laughs> so, you cannot buy it anywhere. You can only do it yourself. You can buy it, say it again. Buy it somewhere, okay? Close your eyes, think of it somewhere, and you'll move it. And silver medalist, everybody. This lady, Daryl Yo, she has represented us at the World Boxing Council Muay Thai Festival competing in the renowned Lumpini, Lumpini Stadium. So give it a round of applause, please, Daryl Lee. <sighs> but today we have four fighters who will be on stage to show us different kind of movements, right? So first, we're going to have Kenji and Julie come on forward. Alright, they will be demonstrating this thing called a Y crew, okay? So the Y is the name for the traditional Thai greetings where the Thai will put their hands together and lower their heads as if uh, they are kind of praying and showing respect to the opponents, okay? Crew is for teacher. So Y crew is normally done to show deep respect to one's coaches, gym, training partners and family. And right now, Kenji and Julie will be demonstrating the Y crew.
something I watched in movies or like at the fights where they will always like go around the space. What are you guys trying to do actually besides showing respect? What is in your head? Basically, it's part of uh, paying respect to the heaven and the uh, father, mother, teacher, everything, and the uh, land all over. Right, for the opportunity to be able to be on stage, so you give respect to the space as well. How about you when he was going? Actually, what were you doing just now when you were? Are you taunting her? Like, uh, basically, uh, I sh shooting arrows at her. Is it a love arrow? <laughs> what? So you're like trying to like uh, show her your moves, like your skills, like this. And what is in your head when, when an opponent do that? Because yeah, as everybody knows, Muay Thai has been around for a really long time, since centuries back. We don't have uh, armors like right now that we do. So they use bows and arrows, and that's what they tend to do when they use Kuro to fight for their war, for their countries, and that's what they do to their opponents. And we did one round of sealing the ring. That's what we do usually to keep ourselves safe and to not have any you know, spirits or anything, just to get extra protection before we start the fight. Right, so it's really to sense the whole space and also to be inspired by the past warfare skills to show uh, the moves. That's what it's inspired by. Alright, thank you so much Kenji and Julie for demonstrating the white crew. Give them a round of applause. You can see they're sweating. No, they really give their all in the first few seconds. Okay, that's also what you show respect to the opponent. I'm not gonna give you chill, chill time. I'm just gonna give you a good time. Okay, next. Muay Thai is also known as the art of eight limbs, using eight points of contact. Okay, uh, for this, can I have Ken, oh, Kenji and Julie as well? So we have the two fist, the two elbows. This is me being amateur right now. The two fist, the two elbows, the two knees, and the two sheets. Uh, and this is what differentiates Muay Thai from other martial art form. So they will be using the eight contact to show you punches, jabs, hooks, and uppercut. Let's give it up once again for Julie and Kenji. Which is the best thing ever, right? Go home and kids go home and sleep. That's 
the best thing. All right, thank you so much, Kenji and Julie, for showing us the techniques of Muay Thai. Do take your rest because we'll stand up the two other fighters as well. All right, so we're gonna invite Darylin and Jerome up on stage right now as they will demonstrate Muay Thai with pad work. They pad work, so they're gonna wear the different yes. So this is Jerome and this is Darylin, and they will show you their three minutes of pad work. Give them a round of applause, please.
while we have a young spectator saying hi in between the fights. <laughs> I'm sure, because you guys are smiling. <laughs> okay, but what are you guys thinking when you guys are sparring just now? I heard a Darylene had a, a lady with little words. Yes, she is. So we think about the flows, how we can counter, and what kind of openings we can see. It works a lot on our strategy, and what we can do when we fight in the future, to see how we can make improvements. Ah, right. So better response on stage as well. So do you do the sparring right at the early stage of the training already? Or like it's more near to the end of it? As much and as often we can in the gym with different sparring partners, it will be good for us. Okay, awesome. So you know what? They are actually having their gym. Uh, wait, wait, where's the location of the gym? It's at um, 5A Ali Wall Street, very close to Bugis. So feel free to come on by, have a chat. We can we do have trials running and recently just have like little kids joining us too. It's really good. We got boys, we got little girls. Feel free to come by for a trial and see how that works. And you can even do mom and dad session. It's good. That sounds really good. Do you, how, how old is the oldest uh, learner in your at a place? We got Joe. Joe's really passionate about Muay Thai. Joe's 50. 50. 50. I mean, the youngest you have. Never mind, we don't know Jew, we can say 73. I think the oldest one is 73, okay, and the youngest one? Six years old. Six years old! Did a six years old fight with 73 before? <laughs> no, yeah, it will be an interesting sight to see them exchange. But once again, thank you so much to Julie and Darylin and all our fighters at Eminent Gym. Thank you so much! So they have stations over there as well. So do go on there and check it out and learn more about the things they do, the lessons that they have. And I heard that the instructors are very uh, patient and well-structured. Okay, so thank you so much to Eminent Jun. Thank you, please take your rest. Woo! You want to learn? Ah, she said yes. You got one student. How old are you? Oh, 10 years old. I thought you'd say five. Now I was like, you're going to be the youngest among everybody. All right. And you win. Do the wife through like that. He's shy, it's okay. What's that? What is his name? Okay, yes, and he's how, how old is he? Alright, three years old, Eminent Dream. Do you think it's three years old? <laughs> Actually, it would be so interesting. I don't think there's an age group to like the youngest. How, how young can you, can you go? But it's nice the parents do it with the kids, yeah? So later on at 5 p.m., if you miss out the Muay Thai demonstration, don't worry, we're gonna come back again at 5 p.m. Five dollar one. Yeah? No, uh, seven dollars. Seven. Yeah, because we're gonna get the big one, the most small one. Oh, no, more small one. Okay. Been all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>